how to install Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 on Windows and have it automatically update. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today we'll show you a very easy guide to get started with Stable Diffusion. But before I start this, I want to tell you, if you have any technical problems, please go to the official Stable Diffusion Discord that I have linked below and also here on the screen, because there's so many different configurations and systems and drivers, they can help you a lot better than I can. So first, what we need to do, and this is really important, download Python 3.10.6, because if you use a newer version, you might run into errors when you have the setup. So scroll down here and here it says Windows installer 64 bit. This is also recommended. So download that first. And once you have downloaded that, simply start the installer. You will see this window, click on install. Once this has finished, it says set up successful. You can close this. Next, you want to download Git for Windows. So simply click on the big download button here. Again, click on the installer and then simply go through with the install process. Click on next, next, next. You don't have to select anything here and then simply click on install. Once this is finished, remove the check mark from release notes and click on finish. Next, you go to the automatic 11.11 page on GitHub and scroll down until you see automatic installation on Windows and you want to select this gray part here, git clone until here without the point at the end, of course, control C to copy. Down here on search, write CMD and hit enter. This will open the command window. In here, press control V. So you paste that in here and then simply hit enter. After a short while, this has created a folder on your drive. This is installing under the C drive. So click on C, click on users, click on the name of your user account. Mine is called demo. Scroll down and you will see the Stable Diffusion web UI. Click on that. And here you have the setup for Automatic 11.11. Now, next we need to download the model. It needs to go in here, Models Stable Diffusion. I would suggest to you to download the model for Stable Diffusion 1.5. So go to Hugging Face where you need to create an account that is for free. Then when you come to this page, you need to also agree to their requirements, which will be in this area. Next, you go here to Files and Versions and you want to download the Prudent EMA only file. You can also download the other file, which is a lot bigger and is good for training. But let's get started with EMA only. So you download this into this folder I've showed you before, Stable Diffusion Models Stable Diffusion. So in here, it is usually suggested that you rename this file here into model, but I leave it with the original name because then I know what version that is and it works as well. After that, scroll down to the web UI minus user dot bat, right click, show more options and click on edit. Now you see this file here. You need to have your Python path in here. So go here to search and type Python, then right click on this, open file location. This is just a shortcut link. So again, right click on this, open file location, then right click on this again. And here it show copy as path and you can see on Windows the shortcut for that is Control Shift C. So you can also try that. With that, click on the text file again and you want to copy it here where it says Python like that. Then down here between set command arcs and call web UI, you want to write git pull. This will enable the automatic update every time you start automatic 11.11. Save it, close it, and then double click on the web UI user bed. It will take quite a while to finish that download and it looks like nothing has happened. So just leave that window open until it is finished. And you see here where it says running on local URL. And this is the URL that you have to put into your web browser. It will also probably download some additional files. Select this URL here. Control C to copy, go to your browser, put it into the address bar up here and hit enter. After you've loaded this page up here for the Stable Diffusion checkpoint, select 1.5 like this. And then you can go to extensions 
and here to available there should be a URL in here. Click on load from and here you have different extensions for your automatic 11.11 install. So here we have the forum that you can use to create videos. So click here on install. It will take a little bit to download when it's finished. It says installed, but it is not showing yet. So what you need to do is to click on settings, scroll down, click here on restart Gradio and refresh components. After this is refreshed, you can see here the, the forum link and you can also create videos. When I render an image of a cat with Euler A512 by 512 on my 3080 Ti on the laptop, it takes four seconds to render this image. On my second laptop with a RTX 2060, it takes 24 seconds to render the same image. If you have an older graphics card, you want to go here to the wiki on Automatic 1111, click here on Troubleshoot, and then down here it says for low RAM video cards, you have here different things you can try. These arguments that are suggested here in gray are meant to be put into your web UI user bed. So right click on that, show more options, edit, and you want to put it here behind the set command line arcs like so, and then save and restart your stable diffusion again. Make sure that when you run stable diffusion, you keep the command window open because if you close that, you also close stable diffusion. When you want to upscale the image, you want to click down here to send to extra. And because this is a new version of Automatic 11.11 that is preparing for the Stable Diffusion 2 version, there might be some errors. So for example, right now LDSR is not working, but it might be fixed already when you watch this video. When you click on these processes down here, it might download additional files for these upscale models. So wait a little bit for the first moment, but also look here in the command window if you see an error or if you see a download happening. You can also download model 1.4 and 1.4 full EMA if you want to. And here is a video on how to install version 2 to run it with automatic 11.11. And also check out this video about the forum to get you started rendering videos with Stable Diffusion. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.